Hello and welcome to Codition. Today I am going to show you a very nice tool called as Time Jet, which you can use to track your tasks time. And this is also uh, available in Google Sheets now. So if you go to extension and go to add-ons and then click on get add-on, you can search for Time Jet here and then install this add-on. this one all right after you install this add-on you will go to extension time jet and click on load and this will get shown over here so first of all when we are doing an activity we are starting an activity we have to just click on reset to get the headers over here so in case I want to uh, you know have headers here in the column D what we can do is let me just delete this we can go to the settings and then we can choose our uh, data start row and column accordingly so let me just uh, push it here to column c and then if i click on reset it is going to start this from the column c now let me click on start to get started so now you will see a live timer and also stop time what will be the stop time and in case uh, I want to change my time zone, I can go to file settings and then I can choose a time zone here and click on save. So let me click on stop now, uh, but I will choose activity at production and my case number like this and I can click on stop. It is uh, going to preview the uh, stop and total time as well. And this is my time and this is the total timing thing now automatically this total time will get reset and now i can click on stop again and it is going to preview and then this time gets recorded again we click on stop now say i am going on lunch now and i want to track this time in the meanwhile let me go to settings and see what all are there Okay, these are various options uh, depending on the kind of case or activity you are doing. So let me just hit stop now. So it is going to record the lunch time. So let's say I don't want to record a case reference. I don't want to record some other fields. So I can just click on um, remove this case reference. I can also remove activity. So I think it is required. Let me remove comments as well and <laughs> date I want. And now let me just uh, reset this to a column and a shift row to uh, four. Let me start with the row number four because I want to write some headers. I'll close the setting. Then I click on reset. Now it will prompt me that a four to so E nine is your data zone okay so a4 is starting okay now if i click on stop now <clears throat> it is going to give me in this format so let me just click on reset and clear everything and i start my activity from production and i click on stop and then again i can click on stop Similarly, uh, it will show the data. I can shift it anywhere I want by going to settings. Okay. Now, uh, there is an option for TimeJet Pro, uh, which, which it is like uh, you can record data and it gets recorded on a server, different server. So let me go to TimeJet Pro now and I have to register myself before starting. So I already have an ID, so I will log in from that ID. And let me just show you, if you click on register, you will be redirected to a different website, which is called as timejet.dlawyer.com. And here, what you can do is uh, you can, you have to first register um, as a manager, and then the employees have to register using this option they have to click on sign up employee sign up in case you want more information about the workflow of this you can click on user guide and it will show you uh, how it works like this is a manager 
uh, which which will be uh, then the employees employee will be linked to the manager like there will be a common database and this is how you sign up and everything all right so let me just uh, go here and sign sign in now so i remember my employee Oh, uh, it's manager. So these are my ID that I was using. Okay, so let me just log in here. Never. So now the data will get recorded in this other tool. So let me choose an activity as production and I have to enter case reference number here and I can click on stop now. So this data is getting recorded on the cloud now, not here. So this is just a blank and I click on stop. Okay, I have to enter case number as well. So I click on stop. Now this is getting recorded on the database. Uh, if I want to export data, I can just see what all I have done so far. So it will show me the data here. So let me um, enter a case as case hash or whatever dollar forty five or uh, test ninety nine zero zero and click on stop. This gets recorded now. If I click on export data, I should see this case at the last. So you see this case was just added. All right, so I am working as a employee here and it is also showing my manager ID here. Let me just log out and let me log in as a manager now. All right, so it is going to show me different option activity list active user and export all employee data. So if I click on export all employee data, it is going to export data for all the employees who are reporting to me so right now I just have one employee I guess so it is showing just one see the activity list these are the activity list you can also add a new activity here and then active users so these two users are actually logged out so just to add you can also log in here on this tool on the website and you can also enter cases over here and you can also see the reports over here you can export them so these were the cases we added and then we can reset password and also for the manager you can also log in as a manager on the website you will get to see the information that we were accessing on the tool these are the drop down activities which you can edit over here as well and this is the report of all the employees you can see the employee 2 as well here and export it to excel okay so that's all and thank you for watching for similar kind of video videos you can subscribe to my channel and if you face any issues you can ask me in comments thank you and take care bye bye